Previously on Life on Jupiter, we begin our long list of jobs, which includes finding out what's been living in our fuel tank. This is uh, full of crud, mushrooms, bacteria. What? Mushrooms and bacteria? See, but there's baffles, and um, but yeah, we can go to this is the dirtiest one. Yeah, wow. Wow. Wow.
right, so today I'm going to paint the chains. You can see this have paint and this one don't have any more. So I need to repaint it again. I washed it yesterday. I put a rust remover so it, the paint will stick in it. And now it's time to paint. So what we do is uh, measured out four meters of chain length here. Uh, we use four to one scope uh, when we're anchoring, which is generally enough. You know, if it's going to be really windy, we'll put out a bit more. If uh, we don't have much room because of boats too close to us, we'll put out a bit less in light winds. But yeah, so we mark the chain every four meters. Now what I do is I look at the depth sounder and I, we're in three meters of water. I just tell Princess, put out three. So she puts out three marks, which is 12 meters, four to one scope. Uh, plus there's all the bridle length as well. But that's how we do it, easily. And now we have to paint these marks probably well, it's been 18 months and we barely can see any more. So, um, yeah, you got to do this about every year and a half. We're in New York! <laughs> Perhaps you don't realize that our YouTube videos are actually about six months behind. If you'd like to stay up to date with what Jupiter 2 and the crew are doing, We'd love to have you on the Patreon Prime uh, Crew, Alabama where now. you can have real-time weekly updates, early vids with no ads, join the Jamaica Facebook mom. group, free consulting, and even come aboard Jupiter and go for a sail. Right, let's get dirty again in the chain locker which we've just cleaned out repainted the chain but it's time I replaced this solenoid only because it's uh, it's looking pretty rusty and a good time to give the windlass a, a nice clean up and an oil but yeah I'm gonna rewire this and then put the solenoid on the inside, the other side of this bulkhead, where it is more protected. So, more awkward fun. Make sure you don't drop those screws behind the scuba tank, so... Eh? Like that. <laughs> I fold, I warned you.
Tony, what are you doing there? Um, acrobatics. Hmm. Uh, this, this foot switch wiring has uh, got all corrosion and I can't make it solder stick. So I'm trying to move the solenoid to a different spot. Won't stick. What is it? Open the box. <laughs> Someone's excited. What is it? <gasps> GoPro. Time to put it back together. Nice and clean in here now. And uh, nice and dry. Interesting to see. Like I didn't realize how big it was in here. <laughs> what have we got? Uh, 350 and 180 liters. It's bigger than I imagined. But she's in healthy condition now. But why it looks rusty then? Well, I guess that's had a bit of water. Mm. But it's not, you know, aluminium doesn't rust, it's just mm. dirty. The bacteria have you sort of... Poop makes it. Yeah, the bacteria is eaten into it.
more than three shakes is a wank. And you want to make sure they're really empty. Because if they're not, then condensation gets into the fuel and uh, puts bug in your, in your jerry can. So, as dry as possible. back in the tank now there's going to be an air locker sorry an air bubble that long in the fuel line so we're going to go back in the water there'll be two or three minutes of fuel in the engine just enough for us to get out of the travel lift both engines fail we don't want this so we need to bleed the fuel lines and the easiest way to do that I mean, you can go down there on the lift pump on the engine, which is like... Makes that much suction. It's hopeless. Uh, so, <laughs> instead, this is the fuel tank vent. Um, which is connected to both fuel tanks. So I just pressurize the fuel tank. So yeah, I'll go and disconnect the... Um, the fuel filter, the glass bowl, will pressurize the tank like that and then get a solid stream of fuel to come out. And then we should avoid the uh, air pockets in the fuel line. So that's the plan. I'm going to get the engines ready now. give it a, a squirt of air now? yep more hmm more You see where you put got the the gun going into the hose? Just, just try and squeeze around it to stop the air coming out of there. Yeah, and give it a, a longer burst. Now? Yeah. More. More. More? Like ten seconds. Okay. Need a rag. Very scientific measuring system. It's expensive stuff too. This is like 40, 50 US dollars for this little thing. But it's better than having Mushrooms in your tank. 